here at Simon Fraser University. I'd like to acknowledge that we are on ceded in indigenous land belonging to the Coast Salish peoples, including the territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, Stolo, and Salitude Nations. Uh, so a little bit of housekeeping and some announcements that uh, within the city program, we have the Next Generation Transportation Certificate that this uh, online program is now taking a point, uh, applications for fall 2017. Learn more at our March 18th uh, info session. Uh, we also have another workshop called Giving Council a Piece of Your Mind, Writing Reports That Work, and Expecting Change, I assume. No, unintended. Um, that it's March 22nd, being taught by Ed Nakati, one of the former co-directors of the of planning in the city of Vancouver. And finally, uh, finance and urban growth. The use of development cost charges and community amenity contributions. That's happening on May 12th. The instructors, Jay Wallenberg and Bill Bogle. And all this can be found on our website at sfu.ca slash cfcstudies. Tonight, we, I have an announcement that Vancouver is not as dense as you think it is. That the, according to the new census, that the majority, that 70% of Metro Vancouverites live in single family home densities. And whereas, which makes us actually closer than Calgary, than, than Montreal, <coughs> compared to Montreal or Toronto, where the, where the minority in these cities actually live in single family homes. Interestingly, the same minority also lives in high density homes, and very much when it comes to Montreal and Toronto, we're talking about folks who predominantly live in these middle densities. And so with today's lecture, to, to, well, today's lecture, it's, uh, the title is high, Higher Density Housing, housing <coughs> Higher Density Housing, Gord, how did you do this? Uh, <laughs> higher Density Housing and New Communities, Lessons from Europe, from our speaker, Michael Geller. There will be, yeah, will be this extensive bi biography. Michael Geller is architect, planner, real estate consultant, and property developer with 45 years of experience in public, private, and institutional sectors. So, some of his notable projects include overseeing the first phase of the South Shore Falls Creek while working the South Shore Falls Creek while working for the CMHC, rezoning of the Stevenson Waterfront on behalf of BC Packers. Planning and developing Deerling, the, the, uh, the, the, yeah, the planning and development of Deering Island in the Southlands, where he currently lives in a single-family home. Again, um, yeah, 69%. Um, that the, re the redevelopment of the Western Dayshore property in Cole Harbor, and of course, the university at SFU. Recently, he's been involved with a number of infill projects in West Vancouver. He serves as on the adjunct faculty of the SFU Center for Sustainable Community Development. He is a frequent commenter on urban issues and writes a bi, a bi weekly column for the Vancouver Courier and a Homes Away from Home column in the Vancouver Sun. A president of a past president of the Urban Development Institute, he travels extensively and writes a blog at gellersworldtravel.blogspot.com. So I'd like to welcome Michael Geller and thank you.